Hello my soccer universe. Um, I decided to make this video now, although it might post a little bit uh, later, not in sequence, but since I have the Spanish background up, you see already I took a jersey down and it is another one in the sequence of um, yeah, comparing fakes to the original product. And this one is a very interesting one. These are the two Sevilla jerseys that I acquired this year first the fake and then the original one uh, both actually to very similar prices I have to say uh, of course the original was a little bit more expensive but you know I got so just looking at it which one do you think is the original one before we look closer into it this is the original one and I think you can tell it from the get-go uh, it's just a little bit more vibrant um, I got this from Classic Football Shirts, I got this from an online page and I have to say that this is one of those jerseys, that we first look at it, um, that seemingly, I have not been to Spain in a long time, but seemingly the street vendors in Spain are selling fakes um, that actually look really good overall. Just compare the two. Hard, easy, hard, not that easy to tell what's the difference. Um, the one on the back comes even with the number, which is usually, you know, name a number you don't get for the cheap. Now, uh, when you buy it, and I, I'm fortunate I don't have it in original packaging, but um, I just want to note when you buy a Nike jersey, you usually have a tag here on the sleeve. In this case, I have only one because you know when Sevilla I think they did it very short term they got them this Nike kind of basically a uh, teamwork template and you can tell this is something I have not seen before it looks very much like the 16 17 type of template but it is not there are actually some notable differences that would be worth uh, their own video the only thing that they have in common is kind of this line going around the neck and kind of the raglan sleeves but the material and the side is very very different and maybe this is let's start at this so the original i think uh you have of course always the crest has always some solid backing and, and when you compare the crest is also not only is it wrinkled here the crest is actually smaller here um so that's one noticeable feature but the thing about this template is that this is a very on the front already a very breathable material with many holes in there which is not what the stadium jerseys um, have on the other one and then on the back I mean it's basically see-through it is really 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 see-through for some reason the back is stuck to the front so uh, this is a really you can see my hand here very very see-through material so I found this interesting uh, the top also this same of rather light material and then the most interesting part is if you ever had a stadium jersey and probably have one up there but this side here and maybe I'll pull the Roma jersey seventeen these here you know they're inside and outside the same thing it's a little stretch in there but there's not much going but it's very uh, well knitted what they did on this one here and this really gobsmacked me look at this just a web and they have this very very stretch it stretches a lot actually really 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 a lot and that is a feature I did not expect I'll show you now on the fake jersey they basically copy the material it's even more it's even more see-through although it's very similar you can see the hand so uh, that the material is rather similar even on the front and then here it's not as nicely done but the same thing you have the webbing then it stretches but it stretches a little bit more but I thought when I first saw it yeah this is a clear telltale sign that this is fake but the only telltale sign that this is fake is that it actually stretches more than the other one. We already talked, the print here is not that great. The La Liga patch is ridiculous here. 
And then the other thing that it always tells you when you have the wash kit, the details in there, they come off with the first wash. I have not washed this one, but Nike's stuff does not come off that easily. The color is, I think as soon as I saw it, I mean, this is probably had a similar color, but this was probably hanging in the sun. So this is definitely faded uh, a way which the underside is not. So this is a much brighter uh, red. But then if I compare the red on the side, there's again the one from the original. They're similar. But this one is a little bit darker than the original one. Another thing, the original one has on the back kind of Spanish colors. This is smaller. So while the crest is bigger, this here is smaller and also comes off. So, you know, little telltale signs. The swoosh is also not that perfectly done. And of course, the crest is just a cloth with no solid backing. Always look out for these things. Now, the really interesting stuff is and why I actually bought the Sevilla jersey because uh, idiot that I am I just looked out for the tag I asked myself please show me the tag because on all the other jerseys you have the tag he sends me a picture of the tag and you see it in my opening video you can actually see I mean there is this thing that when you look at this last line it's a little bit more pronounced towards the black and there's the number it looks authentic it looks great however if you look at it already the shape is not nice it's not straight in any way if you compare it to a real tag there's absolutely this is ridiculous i just got too ahead of myself uh and also this nodal whatever um this is not a good tag and now see what comes on the original jersey and maybe some of you can enlighten me here nor is there a number i really want to know why this is the case i trust the classic football shirt is selling me the real deal but yeah those are some differences again i want to hold them a little bit up to the camera They are very similar. This is the better product. The origin is always the better pro product. I think here, having Andre Silva on the back, that's fine by me. Uh, I maybe can use it. Or I will give it away at some time. But I have to see. This is what I really want to have. A proper severe jersey. I think it doesn't look even that bad. And also has this nodal. And this is actually a lot more shinier here. So that was it let me know if you've made any experience with those uh jerseys sold by spanish vendors i really would like to because i saw another one and i did not buy it uh of the pink barcelona jersey with a messy print for 12 euros and they already said they bought it there so i kind of knew that's not and so yeah they are very close but there is a clear difference in quality uh, but they look rather similar, so be careful if you're in Spain. Gotta go to the official source. Anyway, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you want to see more, drop a comment below if you have anything to add, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye!